Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Stacy Miller, Surf Foundation Director. Please take this time to grab a drink, grab an appetizer, and settle in for tonight's program. We're just about ready to get started. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stacy Miller, Surf Foundation Director. Please take this time to grab a drink, grab an appetizer. We are just about ready to get started with tonight's program. And we're looking forward to seeing you tonight. Hello everyone, welcome to our first annual Surf Foundation donor recognition. Crow Peak Brewing Company is sponsoring tonight's door prize, a growler of Crow Peak's locally crafted beer, a gift certificate, a six pack, and a Crow Peak t-shirt. To enter this prize, you'll need to respond to a poll. You must be 21 years of age to enter, and you also must be able to pick up the prize at Crow Peak Brewing Company in Spearfish, South Dakota. So please select the option to enter yourself in the poll. We will randomly select the winner at the end of the program this evening and notify that winner by mail. I'll give everyone just a second to get their poll answers in. It's looking good. Thank you, Crow Peak, for sponsoring tonight's door prize. Crow Peak has been sponsoring Deep Talks for a multitude of months, and they are a fabulous partner with us. Okay, looks like the poll is about done. We are excited to be sharing the stage tonight during our Deep Talks Nobel Day with speaker Dr. Art McDonald. Just like solar neutrinos relying on heavy water for detection, Surf Foundation relies on you, our donors. All right, maybe that's not the best analogy, but as a non-scientist, that's the best that I could do. But I know that you get it. We appreciate everything about you everything about our donors. 
we also rely on you to help us to continue the mission of supporting the advancement of world-class science and inspire learning across the generations. Welcome to the first annual Donor Recognition Program. We thank you for being here. As we scroll through the donors that we are looking at, I want to mention a special thank you for the donors that have come through in the last couple of days, supporting our Giving Tuesday campaign. The SURF Foundation was founded in June of 2019 by five amazing board of directors, Ron Wheeler, Casey Peterson, Dana Dykhouse, Paul Christian, and Kay Jorgensen. Fred Ramkema joined us in 2020. I'm gonna pause right there for just one moment. Please take a moment and uh, sit back and relax and I'll be right back with you. I'm excited to be sharing so much good news about the SURF Foundation and all of the support from our donors tonight. In keeping with its mission to advance world-class science and inspire learning across the generations, the Sanford Underground Research Facility develops unique K through 12 curriculum for future scientists. SURF delivers exciting opportunities for discovery to community audiences, and creates collaborative spaces for scientists from around the world. The SURF Foundation supports that mission by building upon strong relationships within the community and opening the doors for public contribution. I wanna take a moment to share the four key impact areas of the SURF Foundation. The first one, the SURF Institute. Today, SURF houses world-leading multidisciplinary research and incorporates that research into STEM education. To deepen our impact, we are expanding the design of our STEM Institute to improve working spaces for the collaboration, enhance teaching and learning areas, and increase the opportunities for generations of scientists to come together through discovery and the exploration of our universe. Our second key area of impact is our robust education and outreach program. Our commitment to K-12 education inspires future scientists. Based on high science standards, our innovative curriculum modules highlight the science of Sanford Lab. Since 2015, we have impacted the lives of more than 50,000 students. And that number continues to grow every day. We make a concerted effort to reach out to underserved populations, especially those in rural areas. Our internships offer undergraduate students opportunities to learn from our experts and to gain real world experience. Through the Davis McCall Scholars Program, recent high school graduates and first year college students build experiences as scientists and researchers. That brings me to a special recognition of First Premier Bank, Premier Bank Card. This year, First Premier Bank, Premier Bank Card has pledged a matching gift of $15,000 a year for the next five years supporting Davis Bacall Scholars Program. What this means to you as a donor, when you donate to Davis Bacall, your donation doubles. Please join me in thanking them for their leadership of this wonderful matching gift. Beyond the classroom and into the community, this is where we share fascinating stories behind the science. Our dynamic speakers and creative interactive events inspire the community to learn about the research taking place nearly a mile underground. Our public outreach programs have reached more than 30,000 people since 2008. This includes individuals who have attended public events like Neutrino Day, 
Deep Talks, Nobel Day, the event that we're thankful to be sharing with you this evening, and many more presentations that are offered to groups across the country and around the globe. Our fourth and final key area of impact is united in one space. We plan to update our education and outreach facilities and design a facility to house the SURF Institute. This physical space is critical to unifying the programs at SURF. One unified space will allow more opportunities for scientists of all levels, from curious young minds to Nobel Prize winners, to interact and collaborate in future exploration and discovery. I invite you to learn more about our key areas of impact by going to our website. Your support advances our mission every single day. I invite you to join us while we share a few stories from our donors and our supporters. Please welcome Mike Headley, Executive Director of South Dakota Science and Technology Authority. Okay, thanks, Stacy. Um, this first impact statement was brought to us by Mr. Casey Peterson, who's the chair of our SDSD Board of Directors. Uh, the concept of a SURF Institute was first suggested at some high level meetings at Fermilab uh, a couple of years ago, um, and was suggested by the University of Chicago president, Bob Zimmer. And Casey is one of the original members of the SDSDA board um, the idea of forming an institute with a leadership role in global underground science was very exciting and something he shared with us immediately. Planning for the SURF Institute has advanced over the past two years through uh, studies of other leading institutes, such as the Perimeter Institute of Theoretical Physics located in Canada, the California Academy of Sciences, and the Mathematical Science Research Institute in Berkeley, California. Most recently, a survey of leading researchers in the fields of underground science was completed to inform the Institute's science program. We're now poised to advance the science and engineering, I'm sorry, science and education programming for the SURF Institute and begin the development of the overall architecture program to define the facility that will support the Institute. We expect the Institute will host a world leading program foc focused on multidisciplinary underground science research and STEM educator development and delivery in support of scientists, teachers, students, the general public, with a focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and access for all involved. Additionally, we're advancing designs for the construction of an ethnobotanical garden located at SURF called the Sacred Circle. And the Sacred Circle will be a place where native culture, sacred plants, and places of the region that are sacred to the Native Americans will be featured in a setting that's conducive to cultural exchange and reflection. Back to you, Stacy. Last February, SURF's Education and Outreach Department offered professional development to the staff at Loman Tribal School in Oglala, South Dakota. For the most part, the staff was young and had very few resources. At the end of the professional development training, Nora, a middle school science teacher, approaches our education and outreach team. She had many questions. She wanted to know more, more about the summer professional development, more about field trips, more about classroom presentations and the curriculum units. She was super excited at the, at the opportunity and the possibility of connecting with other teachers and learning more about the science at SURF and the relevant science experiments, experiences her students would have. SURF's partnership has blossomed over the years with Lowman School. It has blossomed with the teachers and with their students. Our future relies on the inspiration and the empowerment of youth in their pursuit of future STEM careers. Most recently, SURF and the SURF Foundation had the excellent opportunity to help provide much needed school supplies to the Lowman School. Meridel Hilaire, the after school program coordinator and math teacher at Lowman School, said that the program that they usually work with in the past delivers toys to the students over the holidays had been impacted due to COVID-19. She said, when I received the phone call from SURF 
and the, found out that Surf and the Surf Foundation was raising money and supporting holiday STEM backpacks, I was elated. I was so excited and happy that these students would have this opportunity. The Surf Foundation, the Surf Foundation's commitment to education encourages students to see themselves as scientists, researchers, and engineers. Not only is it important to pursue discovery, it's important to share those discoveries with the world and share the fascinating stories behind the science. Sanford Lab Deep Talk series is one of the ways scientists and citizens connect. Mary Baker had this to say about our Deep Talk series. I enjoy Deep Talks because it's a learning experience. I have met new people and ideas that have inspired me and turned on the electricity in my brain. On the way home in the car, there is always a lively discussion about wh whether we really understood the presentation of the evening. I have yet to attend a virtual deep talks, but I'm looking forward to tonight's discussion. My dad said, if you don't learn something new in a day, the day is wasted. I have never wasted a day of deep talks. On the second Saturday of July every year, Stanford Lab invites anyone who is interested in learning more about STEM topics or about what's happening at SURF to attend our annual Neutrino Day. This year, the event was virtual and participants were able to attend from all over the world. One of the many presentations available this year was a virtual art show featuring SURF's first ever artist in residence, Professor Gina Gibson. Talking about the project, Professor Gibson said, getting everyone in the same sandbox is beneficial. And I'd like to see education move that way more. That's why I like interdisciplinary projects. It's really natural for me to view this as a mission to make people more aware of both the science and the art. We're curious about you and how you came to be a part of the SURF Foundation family. So please take a few minutes to join us and fill out your answers in the poll. How did you learn about the SURF Foundation? Are you just learning about it now? Is it something that you saw on social media? Was it word of mouth? Did I have the opportunity to speak to you and you heard about the SURF Foundation by talking to me? Or did you meet one of our board of directors and they introduced you to the foundation? The poll should be up on your screen and I see some answers popping up now. All right, looks like we're wrapping up. Just a couple more seconds. Thank you for taking the time to answer that poll. I'm excited to hear and see how you found out about the SURF Foundation. Through the foundation, your support is making an impact on our future, on your future. Please welcome SURF Foundation Chair Dana Dykhouse for our recognition of our major donors. Thank you for joining us for the SURF Foundation's first donor recognition event. We are excited to see enthusiastic support for the Foundation's initiative, and we are proud to share our appreciation for all of our donors this evening. Please join me in thanking our four major donors from the past year, and then stick around for this year's CORES Award presentation, followed by Nobel Prize-winning speaker, Dr. Art McDonald, 
at tonight's Deep Talks event. As you may know, Deep Talks are one of the public outreach events provided free to the public by SURF. They are supported by donors like you. My name is Dana Dykhouse, and I am newly appointed Board of Directors Chair for the Sanford Underground Research Facility Foundation. As Stacy Miller, our Foundation Director, has explained, this organization is a new 501c3 charitable organization developed to support the mission and vision of Sanford Underground Research Facility. It provides the opportunity for you to get involved in the advancement of world-class science and inspired learning across generations. Although the foundation is still in its developing stages, we are pleased to say that several individuals and organizations have already made significant contributions to the content and programs at SURF through the SURF Foundation. This evening, I would like to introduce and recognize four of these donors for their generous contributions. Black Hills Energy has been a supporter of Neutrino Day since SURF's first Neutrino Day 12 years ago, providing both funds and volunteers. Please join me in thanking Black Hills Energy for being one of the event's major sponsors this year. Neutrino Day, SURF's annual free community science festival, is held the second Saturday in July as an opportunity for the public to engage in science, technology, engineering, and math. Visitors can interact with scientists who work at SURF and participate in hands-on activities with our education and outreach department tour the Yates hoist room, and so much more. This year, the event was crafted into a week-long online science festival, which opened up activities to participants all over the world. Thanks to the support of Black Hills Energy, SURF was able to purchase the necessary equipment to make this possible. We are honored for their donation and continued support. The South Dakota Community Foundation invests in charitable organizations to help strengthen South Dakota communities. And we offer our sincere appreciation to this organization for their donation to support K through 12 education. Please join me in thanking South Dakota Community Foundation for the grant awarded to the SURF Foundation, supporting the efforts of SURF's education and outreach team. Like Neutrino Day, the education and outreach team has adapted many of their programs and presentations to a digital platform and has stepped up to meet the unique challenges of this past year, giving students all over the state access to science, technology, engineering, and math happening here at SURF. We are excited to see this team's continued work inspiring young learners and proud to accept the gifts from South Dakota Community Foundation. We would also like to recognize RCS Construction for their support this past year a construction company with a rich history in the local construction industry. Not only has RCS Construction a leader when it comes to general contracting in the Black Hills, they are also a leader in philanthropy. Please join me in thanking RCS Construction for their support of Neutrino Day, Deep Talks, and supporting our education and science outreach. Please also join me in thanking Chuck and Jolene Lichtenwalmer generous supporters of our Deep Talks events. As you will see tonight after the CORE's award presentation, our Deep Talks events provide an excellent opportunity to get to know some of the amazing STEM professionals currently working in the field here at SURF. As the chair of the SURF Foundation Board, I'm looking forward to the upcoming year 2021. I hope that you'll join us in showing dedication and support to the mission and vision of SURF. Once again, I would like to extend my sincere appreciation to Black Hills Energy, the South Dakota Community Foundation, RCS Construction, Chuck and Jolene Lichtenwalmer, and all of our other SURF Foundation donors for supporting our cause. Stacy, back to you. Thank you, Dana, and a huge shout out to all of our donors. I invite you to keep up on the happenings at SURF through our Deep Thoughts newsletter, join us for our Deep Talks, and for you to share your stories as a donor with me, either through phone or by email. 
Thank you for your support and thank you for joining us for the first annual donor recognition. We appreciate you supporting the SURF Foundation in 2020 and we welcome you to support us in the year 2020. As you join us in 2021, SURF and the SURF Foundation plan to strengthen existing programs and lay the groundwork for exciting new projects. Initial studies are underway for the creation of the SURF Institute and plans are in progress to create a learning space at Sanford Lab that focuses on diversity and native ways of knowing in the Black Hills. As we transition into our CORES Award and our Deep Talk event, we have a science question for you. Please join us when we pull up this poll that asks, when it comes to neutrinos, how much do you know? You know a lot about the current research and discoveries that are being made. I've heard about no neutrinos and a, I, and a little bit about them, or I think I've heard the word around somewhere, or what the heck is a neutrino? As you are finishing up taking the poll, I would like to introduce Constance Walter for this year presenting this year's CORES Award. Well, thank you so much, Stacy. And I would also like to extend my thanks to our very generous sponsors. We're so fortunate to have you and to, and to have your support over the years. And we appreciate your commitment to our SURF programs and our K through 12 programming. Good evening, I'm Constance Walter, the Communications Director at the Sanford Underground Research Facility. Welcome to our guests and thank you for joining us for this very special event tonight. I'm looking forward to hearing from our esteemed speaker and to hearing what you have to say later on about this event. You know, we introduced Nobel Day five years ago as a way to celebrate the amazing individuals whose scientific discoveries have shaped our understanding of our planet and the universe. This is also is a tribute to our own Nobel laureate, Dr. Raymond Davis, whose solar neutrino experiment made significant contributions to neutrino research. In 2018, we initiated the CORES Award with it, we recognize those who are committed to STEM outreach. Past recipients are Crow Peak Brewing Company, which has been a supporter of Deep Talks since 2015, and Science Steve Rakusik, whose wild science demonstrations have entertained and enlightened people for many, many years, including every single neutrino day since 2009. To introduce this year's CORES Award recipient, I would like to welcome Mike Headley back to the stage. All right, thanks, Connie. And I'd also like to welcome you all to Nobel Day and thank our sponsors for their strong support. We couldn't do this without you and we really appreciate your support. Um, I'm excited to be a part of this year's Nobel Day and to introduce our CORES Award recipient. First of all, let me tell you about the CORES Award. Uh, the CORES Award is given annually, as Connie mentioned, to an individual, group, business, or organization that supports communications, outreach experiences uh, in science within the region. The selection committee considers the candidates' ongoing support for science education, whether through sponsorships or service, in a way that demonstrates a passion for science education and a visible commitment to science outreach. Tonight, we're so pleased to honor our partner, Black Hills Energy, with the 2020 CORES Award. Beyond being a, a partner and literally helping us keep the lights on at SURF on a daily basis uh, and helping us advance world-leading science here in South Dakota, Black Hills Energy has demonstrated a strong commitment to uh, our community for decades. They provided strong support for education programming, provided energy assistance to those in need, invested in the environment, and supported charitable organizations throughout their eight state region where they operate. In 2019 alone, the company's charitable, uh, total charitable giving was five and a half million dollars with an impact on 824 communities in their work. Black Hills Energy employees have donated more than a half a million dollars to the United Way 
and more than a thousand employees have volunteered in their communities in activities similar to Neutrino Day. Black Hills Energy has been a strong partner with SURF as well. Since 2009, the organization has sponsored Neutrino Day, Sanford Lab's Free Science Festival, both financially, and they always bring a cadre of volunteers enthusiastically ready to come help. Black Hills Energy has definitely invested in our success and we greatly appreciate, appreciate their partnership. Black Hills Energy's commitment to the community has earned the company much deserved recognition. Most recently, they received the 2020 Outstanding Philanthropic Corporation uh, by the Association of Fundraising Professionals in South Dakota. And of course, the 2020 Coors Award from Serve Tonight. So please join me in congratulating Black Hills Energy. And I'd like to welcome Mark Ayer, the Director of Electric Operations. And I think also watching tonight, we have Marcia Nichols, who's a business development account manager with BHE to accept the 2020 Coors Award on behalf of Black Hills Energy. And so I think, I know Mark is with us. We'll turn it over to Mark. And Mark, thank you so much. We really appreciate you guys and all the work BHE does to support education in the area. And we're just very honored to award you the Coors Award this year. Thank you, uh, Mike and Connie. Uh, on behalf of all of us at Black Hills Energy, just wanted to say thank you, uh, let you know that we are very grateful and honored to receive the 2020 Coors Award. Um, we did get it since it was virtual. We got it here uh, yesterday. And I will say it's a very substantial award, uh, both in weight and meaning for us. It's something we're very proud of and we'll display proudly. So. Uh, I'd mentioned a couple of weeks ago when uh, Connie had contacted us and let us know that we were gonna be the recipient. And I think it bears uh, repeating. We feel very fortunate to have a world renowned uh, science and research institution right here in our own backyard. And uh, to have the opportunity to serve you as one of our key account customers. And so when it comes to science and outreach, um, you know, if, if we wanna be the best, we need to partner with the best and certainly that's SURF. And so, whether that's Neutrino Day or other uh, science-related activities, really uh, proud and, and uh, excited about the opportunities to partner with you. Um, science and technology is critical to Black Hills Energy. Um, and, and I was thinking, you know, really integrated into all aspects of how we generate, uh, transport, and deliver energy to our customers. You, you had mentioned, you know, we serve 1.3 million customers uh, both electric and natural gas across eight states. And so, you know, as we look to the future of the industry and our company, you know, certainly we're focused on increasing sustainability, um, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, integrating renewables, and really just refining the way um, we can efficiently serve our customers. Uh, and so STEM related fields are gonna continue to be more and more important and a key driver to our success. And so, uh, again, thank you. I think lastly, the only thing else I would say is um, we get to tour a lot of different customers' uh, facilities. And I can say just on a personal note, um, the tour of the SURF facility and being able to go down uh, to the 4850 level and just see the amazing things that you're doing down there is a personal highlight for me and something that I won't forget. So thank you very much for the recognition. All right. Thank you. Well, once again, I'd like to congratulate Black Hills Energy. Thank you, Mike, for introducing our recipient. Thank you, Mark, for, for, um, for being a part of this event. And I know Marsha is online. Thank you, Marsha, for joining us. We are so honored to have you here and to be able to recognize you in this way. At this time, I would like to welcome our science director, Dr. Jarrett Heiss, 